What is going on, FG3000? Back in the place to be, and welcome to Dear Ella. So Dear Ella is a brand new hero collector brought to you by Come To Us. And if you know anything about this company as of late, pretty much every game they release has some connection to C2X, which is their crypto functionality. Um, so this is the second game we've covered just recently. Uh, we did Summoner's War Chronicle, which doesn't have that functionality in it yet, but it is coming soon. So yeah, that's the direction that this company has decided to go in. I I, I couldn't tell you why it just seems like a real bad move and we'll talk about that as we kind of go through the game but here's a few of the characters I've collected thus far um, normally I like to play these games a bit further before I do my first impressions but I I suddenly came to a realization I'm like dude why am I playing this game <laughs> nobody's gonna care about this game uh, people don't care about it now why am I gonna try to play it a little bit further um, I do like this character though shout out to Florine um, so character design not too bad a little dated um, but I will say this when I first saw screenshots of this game on the pre-registration I was like dude that game looks mad dated but you know what now that I see it in motion not mad dated just just regular dated um, so here we are campaign flow very reminiscent to pretty much every hero collector you You've ever done seen um, we're going to go ahead and do stage 2 8 here stamina based hero collector it does have sweep functionality but get this this game is still living in 2015 it does have sweep tickets and they are mad limited um, here is the team that we'll be bringing to combat we got a team of five let us begin Look at that, instant load, very nice. That's probably the best part about this game, and the music's not too bad as well. Um, in motion, like I was just saying before, it looks a lot better than I thought it would look when I saw screenshots of it on the pre-registration. Good ultimates, good music, you know, good media attacks. You know, it's not bad. Had this game came out like five years ago, we, we might have played it. We might have played it for longer than a week. But in today's competition, I don't see people really sticking with this game, especially when you consider its connection to C2X with that crypt that blockchain, that NFT functionality, and I, I, I don't understand why they are so hell-bent on trying to incorporate that into all of their games, um, because the way I, check this out, Let's, I'm, not, I'm not even talking about the game right now, Ch check out this made-up scenario, pretend tomorrow, right, that NFTs come back into flavor, and overnight all gamers across the global sphere suddenly just love NFTs, right, pretend that scenario happens, even in that scenario, the best case scenario who, who's going to care about Dear Ella NFTs? Like, who's going to be on the market for Dear, Dear Ella NFTs? <laughs> right? Like, nobody's going to care, even with the best case scenario. So I'm like, dude, why? Why even do it? But that is the direction this company is going in. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, this is the company that brought you Summoner's War. But since then, they, they've just been missing and missing and missing. And I got to tell you right now, spoiler, Dear Ella to me seems like yet another miss. But here's combat in Dear Ella. You can pretty much go hands off, but you can um, kind of align your ultimate to do little skill chains and whatnot. So that gives you a little bit more power and flexibility in combat. But for the most part, I've been able to kind of ignore that and just kind of just auto through pretty much everything. Um, but that is that. That is going to be your campaign. And like I mentioned a little bit earlier, if you want to go back in here and do a little wipeout, a little sweet functionality, sorry, you got to have tickets. Why games are still doing well? I'm not even going to count this as a current game. Um, but yeah, sweet tickets, non-existent. Um, so here is a little event dungeon, and you can see how little I unlocked. Dude, I was trying, but I'm like, man, this game is <laughs> just not good. But I do want to point out, some of the art is pretty solid. Like, take a look at Roderick there. Pretty good, older husbando. Very cool. Here's a few of the events that are currently underway. Not too shabby. Let's go beat up on Roderick real quick. Um, I did fight him a little bit earlier, and I was able to defeat him. So let's go back at it, defeat Roderick. And I got myself a little quest achievement there for completing an event for the first time today. Not bad. Look at my girl in the background there. I like a character that uh, can go jump behind enemy. What happened? <laughs> oh, dude, that's kind of funny. Let me tell you something funny about something that happened before I logged in. So when I logged in, I had a, check this out. Just wait until you hear this number. And for once, I'm not gonna make up a number. This is actually the real number, right? 47,000 player queue. Now the 47,000 player queue went away like in five seconds. So this is what I think it really is. Now I have no facts to back this whatsoever. No facts to back this up whatsoever, right? Everything I'm about to say is completely made up, but you know what? I feel like it sounds a little true. 
47,000 player queue in this game. I, I feel like maybe what they're doing is sharing a login server with some of their other games, maybe. <laughs> like, they didn't even want to give this game its own login server. That that's what I think happened. But once again, I ain't know. I ain't, what am I, a programmer? I don't know nothing about that server architecture nonsense. All I'm saying is what I'm seeing. And I don't know if this game actually has 47,000 players trying to log in right now on a Sunday at 3.21 p.m. <laughs> but here's a little gold grind stage. Every good game has to have a gold grind stage. You always love to see it. All these goblins here with all this gold, but yet they're using like the most uh, most basic bows and arrows and rusty spears. Why? Why? Now this is unnecessary, but after you beat the stage, you have to tap this chest, but there's no real feedback. Like, look how fast I'm tapping. See all that? Like, I'm tapping like a madman, but it barely feels like it even, even registers for some reason. But that is that. Grip check, string check, all I need is a decent job request, says this little waifu here, which is not a bad little dual crossbow waifu. You love to see that. Outside of that, what you can look forward to is a gameplay mode called the Ancient Temple, Arena, Land of Illusions, Ice Queen's Nightmare, and a, a Mega Furnace brought to you by somebody. Um, but that's that. And then there's our elite stages here as well. But that is pretty much the game. Um, believe it or not, the game does have a little bit of idle functionality um, up to 24 hours. So you can see, get myself some gold, um, some EXP and a bunch of gear. Claim all that, you love to see. But for the most part, dudes, I, yeah. <laughs> I see no reason to really think about this game, download this game and or play this game or waste money with like, getting involved with the crypto scene on Dear Ella. Like, I, I see zero reason to be involved in this game whatsoever. Um, but there you go. Here's the full summon animation. Let's see if we get someone that looks good here. Dude, that does not look like a good summon. Ah, come on. Summon again. Burn out all of this currency because FG will not be back. Can we get something a little bit more flashy? And... Why am I looking at this? Well, I don't want to skip the actual summons. I just want to skip the animation. Oh, that's a rainbow. Feel the rage of just pure spite. Wallace, defense type, already got that guy. All right. Can we go a little faster? No? All right, I'm just gonna hit skip. Oh yeah, it was perfect. So skip just gets you to that, uh, but nothing really special here. And here is the very last summon. Anything good? That is going to be negative. But we did get some new characters. Let's actually take a look at some of their models here. Because they might not look too bad, right? <laughs> uh, here's this guy. See what I was... Little, little dated, man. Little dated. <laughs> um, but there you go, my friends. A nice little look at Dear Ella. Yeah, I'm not sure about the direction of this company anymore, dude. Like, I, I feel like they have kind of lost, lost their way. Ever since Summoner's War, they have not been able to capture that lightning in a bottle again. Anybody cool here? I mean, I like her multi-sword look there. I mean, that's kind of cool. And you can look at their 2D. Live 2D. Not bad. I wish you could just put it all to live 2D, but you probably can't. I just haven't figured it out. Nor will I. <laughs> um, anyway, we got ourselves a little little mermaid, mer, merfolk looking waifu. She looks pretty good. Not bad. Got a lot of dupes of you. Hey, a bootleg Anubis looking guy. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, look at this. A little uh, little tarot card waifu, and I like I kind of like this character's design. So she has a gun, and then she also has like a steampunk arm that also is a gun, like as a double gun action. Pow! <laughs> Take a look at her art. Oh, that's definitely the thumbnail right there. Yeah, yeah, that's the thumbnail. You ready, guys? <laughs> Here's the thumbnail. Screenshot it. Got it. Looking good. All right, guys, I am out of here. My name is FG3000, and I will see you guys in the next video. Or can she be the thumbnail? Nah, that's not. That's a little too wholesome, you know what I'm saying? Way too wholesome. Get them clicks. <laughs> y'all know what I'll be doing. You know what I'll be doing? Yeah, y'all know. Oh, Charlotte? Char nah, nah, not, not gonna cut it. You trying to get to 10 minutes, FG? Believe it or not, no, I'm not. I really don't care. <laughs> but I'm having fun just looking at characters real quick. A uh, little husbando, actually, a little older husbando. I will say that's the probably the best part of this game is the older husbandos. They don't look too shab. Don't look too shab at all. All right, that's everybody. All right, guys, I am out. My name is FG3000, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.